Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's episode, we're going to talk about a common issue experienced by Windows users. If you can't change the drive letter on your Windows PC, make sure to watch this video right to the end. We'll talk about different factors that will trigger this error and how you can troubleshoot it to change the drive letter without any hassle. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any future updates. Before diving into today's solutions, let's first understand what factors restrict users from changing or assigning a drive letter to one of the partitions on your hard drive. In general, Windows automatically assigns a drive letter to each partition. However, Windows also gives users the ability to manually assign these letters using the disk management tool. You can simply fire up the tool and easily change the letter of different partitions. But there are certain situations when you'll find that the change drive letter and parts option will be grayed out and you won't be able to complete the action. To tell you the truth, different factors can trigger this situation. A few of these factors factors could be, firstly, your hard drive file system may not be compatible with your Windows OS. So if you want to assign or change the drive letter on your Windows OS, it will be important for you to format it in either NTFS or a FAT file format. Secondly, your hard drive is in read-only mode, so you won't be able to change its letter or even add any new data to it. In this case, you'll first have to remove these write restrictions by contacting the owner of the drive. The third reason could be that the drive contains a boot partition. If the hard drive contains a boot partition, users aren't allowed to make changes to the system or boot partition. And lastly, the hard drive might be currently in use. For instance, if you are trying to copy data from the drive, you won't be able to change its letter until the data transfer completes. All those factors may be a reason you can't change the drive letter. So if you can't change the drive letter on your computer, here in this video, you will learn how to fix can't change the drive letter on Windows 10 error. Now, let's quickly jump into the troubleshooting methods on how to change the hard drive letter on Windows 10 system. Keep in mind that there are no universal solutions to fix this issue, and you have to try different solutions to find the one that works in your case. The first solution is to change the drive letter using disk management. The easiest way to change the drive letter in Windows 10 is to use the official disk management tool. This method will work if your hard drive is in read-only mode and you've removed the restrictions from it. In this case, you can simply launch the disk management tool and start assigning the new drive letter to your hard drive. Press Windows and X at the same time and select disk management tool in the corner to launch the disk management tool. Right click the drive whose letter you want to change and click change drive letter and paths. A new dialog box will appear on your screen. Here simply click change to proceed further. Now use the drop down menu to assign a new letter on your hard drive and then select the letter that you wish to assign. Click OK to save the changes. If you see a pop-up warning on your screen, then just click Yes to confirm its actions. That's it, the change drive letter will be changed instantly. In case the change drive letter and path option is grayed out in the disk management tool, you'll need to use the command prompt to change the drive letter. This method is a suitable choice for users who have experience in executing different CMD commands. In this situation, you'll have to use the disk part utility to get the job done here. Let's walk you through the step-by-step -step process of changing or assigning new drive letters using command prompt in Windows. Click on the search box and type command prompt and then right click the command prompt icon and then click as run as administrator. A new window will appear. Now type disk part and press enter to launch the disk part utility. Type list volume to display all the disks on your PC. Then using the select volume equals X command, select the disk that you want to work on. Make sure to replace X with the official number of the specific disk or volume that you want to change. Once you've selected the right disk, the next step would be to choose the partition letter you want to change. To do this, assign the new drive letter using the assign letter equals D command. Here 
here, replace D with the new letter you want to assign it to. Finally, exit and close the command prompt window. Open up this PC in Windows Explorer and you'll notice that the drive letter has been changed automatically. Besides this method, like command prompt, you can also use Windows PowerShell, which is another command line based interface in Windows to change the drive letter. This process will be a little bit more complicated. So if you don't have any experience working with Windows PowerShell commands, you can still give this method a try to fix the can't change the drive letter and paths error. Click on the search box down below and type Windows PowerShell and then right click Windows PowerShell's icon and then click run as administrator. A new window will appear and type get-disk and press enter to display a list of all the connected disks. Then execute this command to change the drive letter. Give it a little moment as this does take a little bit of time, but within a few seconds, your drive letter should be changed and that's how you can change the drive letter in Windows 10 using Windows PowerShell. That wraps up our video on how to change the drive letters in Windows 10, even when you are unable able to change it using the disk management tool. If these methods helped you successfully change the drive letters, then be sure to give us a like on this video and comment down below. And if you want to watch similar videos and tutorials like this one in the future, then please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.